Welcome to another lecture on the Age of Enlightenment. Again, you will take notes on these Enlightenment thinkers in the Little Book of Enlightenment thinkers in your journal. Again, you will want to listen carefully to the presentation to make sure you get all the information, although some notes are written for it to help you with your note taking. You may pause, rewind, or skip from one end to the other as needed in order to make sure you've gotten all the information. We will begin with the Age of Enlightenment, the Philosophs. Many writers and thinkers of the 18th century, especially in France, built upon the ideas and analytical methods employed by Locke and attempted to develop theories of government based on a rational approach to man's relationship with the society in which he lived. These French thinkers became known as the Philosophes, and three of the key thinkers on the nature of government were Montesquieu, Rousseau, and Voltaire. Montesquieu admired the English system of limited constitutional monarchy greatly. This French nobleman came to respect the British political system after a stay in England. In his masterwork, The Spirit of Laws, published in 1748, he developed the notion that human, natural, and divine laws guide all things, including forms of government, and can best be discovered by empirical investigation. Rousseau, on the other hand, found the constitutional monarchy inadequate because it did not grant sovereignty or a rule equally to all of the people within the society. Jean-Jacques Rousseau was an outspoken critic of the French social and political system. In his work, The Social Contract, what we come to know today as a constitution, written in 1762, Rousseau re rejected existing forms of government in favor of a community based on the choice of all its citizens and in their democratic participation in every major decision. These ideas were to be of central importance after the outbreak of the French Revolution. The third thinker was Voltaire a French exile that came to admire the English form of government. This admiration was reflected in his writings as he tried to reform his native France. England became for him a model of religious and philosophical freedom and greatly affected the course of his work, culminating with the publication of his Philosophical Letters Concerning the English Nation in 1733, in which he praised the customs and institutions of English life. In his native France, Voltaire's work was seen as a criticism of the French government and social system, and after being condemned as a subversive by local authorities, Voltaire was forced to flee abroad. He spent time in the court of Frederick the Great of Prussia, and was instrumental in instructing that enlightened monarch in Enlightenment ideals. Again, you may go back, rewind, pause, whatever you need to get the information from this presentation. 